fuck masculinity, STDs, blowjobs. It's hilarious, fucking down for the cause. Ah, uh, feminism. I might get emotional. Anal, that's the homie. Such a fucking badass. Check it out. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I'm actually really excited about this video. I haven't done a video like this in a while, like a dedicated video to something that isn't necessarily makeup or beauty related. I do think that it is beauty related because I think that self-help and growing and, and feminism and a lot of the stuff that I'm going to mention is beautiful. And I think that it's very beautiful, really important for us to feed and feel beautiful on the inside so it can come out. You know, I might get emotional in this video. I'm going to get super vulnies in this video. And and I hope you guys can sit through it. This video has been requested a couple of times because I've posted, it's about podcasts. It's about my favorite podcasts. I've talked about my love of podcasts on Snapchat, on my Instagram. I've been pretty vocal about it here as well on YouTube. And I am, I'm just somebody that really loves podcasts. And, I, and I've been really into them for about two to three years now. And I'm gonna be telling you guys about my absolute favorite ones and the ones that I think you guys should absolutely listen to. I don't necessarily know how many I have. And by all means, if you guys have any podcasts you guys recommend that you guys listen to that you guys think based off the podcast i'm going to be telling you guys about you guys are recommending me please leave them now i'm always looking for new podcasts to listen to like just because i listen to these doesn't mean i just listen to these like i'm open to hear more and all that stuff so yeah i'm not gonna go off in any particular order i am just gonna go ahead and tell you about the ones that i love i think the first one i have to mention to you to get it right off the bat i listen to one of my favorites i think it's my second favorite i think a lot of you guys are gonna be shocked that it's not my first favorite it is my second favorite though and that is the tony robbins podcast this one right here i love tony robbins very much i know a lot of people are really skeptical and i know there's like either people who are really into self-help and life coaches or whatever and there's people who are like fucking against them trust me you guys like i'm aware i love tony robbins i have like a lot hold up he was brought into my life at a point in my life where I really needed guidance and, and, and self-help. And the only person that I really listened to showed him to me and it's been the gift that's been that's kept on giving uh i watch his documentary on um netflix all the time i just re-watch it i watch his seminars on youtube and i listen to his podcast because it's very helpful if there is one podcast episode that i need you guys to listen to it is one there's like three there's one where he talks about our six human needs which i need you guys to listen to it's such a powerful powerful podcast the second one being the pitbull episode pitbull actually goes in depth about his struggles his growths all that stuff and how tony robbins you know was an influence in his life tony robbins has actually influenced a lot of great people uh like princess diana nelson mandela oprah like this man knows what he's doing he's the best in the world for a reason he's amazing there hasn't been one podcast that i've listened to uh, of his that hasn't helped me at least in in in, in the tiniest way like it's still a great way i i really am somebody who believes in 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 self-improvement and in growth i love his podcast for that reason it's always talking about growth and love and how you should live every day with passion and make every day your fucking masterpiece and how you have to grow every fucking day and stay focused stay the course just be hungry in life and that's something that i apply to my life so much and growth is so important to me and certainty is so important to me again listen to the episode where he talks about our six human needs and there's the episode where he interviews john wooden that legendary uh coach john wooden that interview oh my god so flippin life changing oh god i can't even explain to you guys how good that podcast episode was i loved it loved it loved it loved it he just talks about how you have to be obs obsessed in life and how you should grow every single day and how you should be passionate and that i'm somebody that like i swear if i run off of anything in life it's it's growing passion and love ba basically dopamine I, I love it everybody should listen to this podcast i swear to god it will benefit each and every one of you guys if there's one podcast that i feel like is universal to anybody it's this one so number one the tony robbins podcast my second favorite number one that i absolutely love it is and i think this will come to no surprises to some of you guys as well it is um unqualified that is anna ferris's podcast she recently also released a book called unqualified i want that book for christmas i'm probably going to gift that book to myself i want a lot of books for christmas actually i love the anna ferris podcast because 
because it's hilarious. She does a lot of improv and a lot of comedic scenes within the podcast itself, which I love. And they talk to real life people about real life problems. And it's usually like eight times out of 10, it's relationship problems, like with a significant other romantic relationship problems. And they're super like honest about being unqualified to give advice. But I honestly think they're super qualified because after listening to a lot of a lot, I've listened to every single one of their episodes. And one episode you guys all need to listen to is the Terry Crews one. Terry Crews is the fucking man. He earned so much of my respect after like not that I didn't respect him before but I saw and her, or heard I guess a side of him that really every man and every woman should listen to that podcast episode. There's one episode you guys need to listen to from On Affairs to Some Qualified. It is hands down the Terry Crews episode. Anyways back to the podcast and why I love it. I think it's because On Affairs is a grown-ass woman. She is 40 years old. She's lived life. She's seen a lot. She's in the industry that I hope to break into one day. I think is another reason I really like that podcast. She talks about her struggles. She talks about what it's like to be a woman in Hollywood, but she talks about what it's like to be a woman in general and how you feel insecure in relationships. And she gives her best two cents into trying to help everybody and to kind of find their best selves, but also protect their heart. And she's a woman, but her co-host, which is Sim Sarna, which I love. I'm just su such a big fan of his. You also always get the male perspective because they do the show together. And yeah, they always have a guest. It's usually always celebrities. And and Sim always gives his two cents but you it's really awesome that you get him because you get the male perspective as well as the female perspective and sometimes a lot of times actually they don't necessarily agree all the time which makes it really awesome for the listener because it really does give you both sides when I was going through what I went through with my you know real past relationship it really did help open my eyes to a lot of views and a lot of differences and not only did it help kind of solidify how I felt but it also really took me out of my element and made me see things from a different perspective which really made me dig into myself and really made me grow which again as I mentioned I'm all about growing and it, it wasn't easy to listen to a lot of the stories because I'm gonna tell you right now a lot of the stories will hit home if you've ever been through heartbreak if you've ever been cheated on if you've ever cheated on somebody if you've ever been in a relationship way too long like you know you should have ended it months and months years ago it's gonna hit home if you have a rough relationship with your mom if you have a rough relationship with your sister it really helps you see things from different perspectives and it really helps helps you kind of live life differently and you see relationships differently based on the way that they handle these calls and also their guests some of that like Terry Crews the advice he gave amazing Chris Pratt her I think now ex-husband mm -hmm. R.I.P. Chris Pratt also really gave amazing relationship advice once which I definitely took home with me a few people actually really great podcast which I love and I think it's awesome that she created this platform with the idea that she wanted to help people and she wanted to give advice which is awesome because I've always wanted to start a podcast and one day I will and I hope to be able to do that with the life that I've lived and the knowledge that I've acquired and she's definitely like a role model to me both of them like I love sim as well and I just think it's awesome what they're doing they're helping complete strangers and you could tell in their voices they genuinely worry about the people and they genuinely care and I love it it's not just for listens it's not just for subscribers it's not just for that it's they genuinely care and they're generally sincere people but which I love. Favorite podcast by far. Definitely take a listen. If you guys have, if you guys have already been listening to it, I want to know what your favorite episode was because mine hands down is the Terry Crews one. Right after the Aubrey Plaza episode, I fell in love with Charlie Day's episode, which Charlie Day's my boy. I've been watching Sunny since I was 11 years old. That's the homie. That's the homie. And Kaylin Olsen and Scott MacArthur's episode was bomb too. Please, please listen to that podcast, you guys. Honestly, like it's such a great podcast and I love it. Third favorite podcast, might be a little weird kind of uh going off course a little bit still really i think in the same realm <sighs> The Amber Rose with Dr. Uh, Donahue podcast. I think it's called Love Line with Amber Rose. I love that podcast. I love Amber Rose because she is, honestly, I, I had an idea of her, you know, before. And once I started listening to this podcast, it completely changed. Like I used to think Amber was just like a, a social media person and not really somebody who had a message for the world. You know what I mean? But she is fucking down for the cause. She is 
she's such a feminist and I love it. She's definitely helped open my eyes and shift views of what a feminist really is and how to really conduct yourself as a feminist in this now world. That podcast goes into politics. She doesn't give a fuck. She talks with no hairs in her tongue. Like she doesn't care. And you also get the really, really kind of calm demeanor, but also you get the male perspective with Dr. Chris Donahue, who is a legit doctor. He's like a legit therapist. He deals with couples relationships. He deals with like a lot of real life ish that he also brings to the table into this podcast. So you got Amber who's loud, who's sassy, who doesn't care, but you also got like the really educated, really medical view on things on things. They talk about STDs, they talk about feminism, they talk about slut shaming, they talk about rape, they talk about politics, they talk about honestly anything under the sun, and they also take calls and really help people. I really like it because like I said, you get like the street knowledge, I guess if you want to call it, but you also get like the legit like book knowledge from a legit doctor that also really firm in his beliefs like if there if there were more men like dr chris donahue there would be so much more love in this world like he's one of those men that are like fuck masculinity like masculinity is a prison it is a fucking cult it is not okay i don't know they just they they help a lot with relationship advice as well as just life in general advice and you you could just tell that they're very passionate about their beliefs and i'm very drawn to them because they're just so fucking passionate about what they believe in and really getting the message out like i said they're contributors as much as they are artists and i really respect that and they're hilarious like this is this is a podcast that i feel like every episode i've laughed at because they also have guests i think two chains was a guest once and that episode made me laugh so hard i will warn you guys though if you guys are more like modest people and don't like to hear stuff about like sexual shit do not listen to this podcast cover your ears don't even look at it don't even try and subscribe to it because i feel like every episode they they talk about like everything from like anal to furries to blowjobs like it's, it's, it's a lot i'm not bothered by this kind of stuff because i like to have knowledge literally on everything under the sun that i can and i'm just i've never been a woman to shy away from anything like this honestly so i don't mind it but again i'm giving you guys a warning if you guys are not into that kind of stuff don't because it is a very sexual podcast and they do dive into stuff like stds and the imagery does get pretty real sometimes so just keep that in mind don't say I didn't warn you. Okay, fourth podcast I want to mention is RuPaul's podcast. I fucking love RuPaul so much and I literally want to adopt them as parents. Like Miss Michelle Visage is my podcast mom. Like I love her so much. If I ever meet her, I'm probably going to cry. She's just a woman that I, I could feel is just such a fucking badass. Every podcast you hear her speak, she has a stance, she has a voice, and she's not afraid to use it. She lives her life in such a bare way and she's so honest about her past she's very vocal about it doesn't care doesn't mind the judgment welcomes criticism but is so fucking real and is a woman who i i just i hope to be that way like be able to live my life in such a bare fucking way like she talks about everything on that podcast another reason why i really like this podcast is because they talk about the industry again that i'm trying to break into you know they do tv shows they've done movies they do a lot of work in podcasts and and it's just really awesome like they talk about out, you know obviously drag queens they interview a lot of the drag queens so if you guys are fans of drag queens get on this podcast because it's fucking dope they interview they've interviewed like miss fame i what's adore delano like a few people this is like my i guess like if reality show was a podcast like this is my guilty pleasure podcast because don't get me wrong it does teach me a lot because some of the guests bring their stories about how they broke into the business and how difficult it was but they share their stories of success which i could listen to people talk about about their struggles and how they got to success. I could listen to that all day long because I love to hear people talk about how passionate they are and how they just never gave up. That shit kind of drives me. I love it. 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 It's a lot of that. So I don't necessarily think it doesn't help you at all because it does. It does open your eyes. They dive into gender, the gender war that's going on basically. And it's really nice to stay kind of educated. And again, they're, they're two different people, Michelle and Rue, and they don't always agree on everything, but they do land and kind of on the same thing but it's nice to see both their views kind of come into one and the message that they are trying to spread across it's positive positive. and
and it's good. They're strong in their beliefs and they're strong in believing to send a good message, which I love. And it's just a really funny podcast as well. Like, I'm not gonna lie, it's just entertaining as shit. And you can always take a lot of advice that they say. And like I said, I really look up to Michelle because she's just a woman who is in her 50s almost, is just unafraid and unfiltered and so unapologetically her. And Rue is such a role model. She's just such a fucking influential person in general. My favorite murder, which I've talked about briefly. My favorite murder is honestly just a guilty podcast. I love it because I'm so into like shows like Snapped and ID Discovery is like the channel. Murder mystery stuff like and like criminal stuff like I love and this podcast they literally just talk about like murders. It's called My Favorite Murder and every episode they talk about different murder scenes and like unsolved crimes and like even solved crimes like it's not just unsolved crimes but it's just a mixture of a lot and it's really cool. It's really entertaining but again only listen to it if you're a murderino which I definitely am. Like I said I used to I love Snapped and I love like women who kill like and there was a show in Spanish for a while that called Mujeres que Matan and those shows were my shit and they still are my shit so this is just a really dedicated podcast to that and the way I found out about My Favorite Murder actually was because they did a crossover with Unqualified. That's how I discovered them and I've been hooked on them ever since. I really like their John Benet episode and I forgot which other episode. It was there was a live episode that I really enjoyed but they're all really good and again if you guys are into murder mystery and stuff like that check it out. Yeah guys those are all my favorite podcasts. Not all of them. I actually listened to a few more but those are the ones I really wanted to mention. But thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys learned a thing or two. I really hope you guys get into listening to podcasts. I love podcasts. I think they're dope and as terrible as this might sound like sometimes I do get bored listening to music and after a certain point like if you keep on listening to music like it just becomes like really like noise and it, I'm somebody that really likes to listen to dialogue and like I said I'm really into like helping people and and growth and like self-help hope this video helped if you guys enjoyed it thank you guys so much for watching thank you guys so much for stopping by for those of you guys who requested this video i hope it pleased you i hope you guys really do listening listen to these podcasts they're really awesome and if you guys already do tell me what your favorite episodes are down below and if you guys have a podcast you guys really want me to listen to again comment it down below i would really love to know but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and get going because i gotta go i have class today actually i will catch you guys in my next one bye